and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I paint my rocks. I have a bunch of orders at the moment, so I think thought I would show you like painting some of those. So I got a request on not last week's video but the week before on how I do my rocks and I uploaded a video like this a while ago now, it must have been a few months ago, but like it's kind of outdated. I sort of have a new style of doing it now, my art on them are so different. And I recently started selling these rocks on my Depop and it's just blown up. So I'm fully booked with orders, but you guys wanted to see how to do them. So you can do them at home too, you can follow along or whatever. In today's video, I'm planning on doing two different designs. I don't know which ones I'm gonna be doing yet. I'll have a look at my little orders list. But if you guys are interested in buying a rock. I will link my Depop down in the description below. I'm currently fully booked. I've taken on so many orders and I have to complete them before I can take any more. But I'll be taking more orders around Thursday, Friday this week. So a few days time once I've completed my current block of orders. But yeah, if you're interested, that'll be linked down below. I'll also link my other social media links down below. You can check out my Snapchat, my Instagram, my Twitter, and even my TikTok. If you guys miss my face here, I'm on TikTok every day. I'm currently doing loads of painting videos. We're going to be bringing back the rock series at the end of March, possibly the beginning of April. We'll see, but I'll keep you updated on that. It just depends on how many orders I'm taking in with my rocks and if I have time. So yeah, I'm selling rocks on my Depop. And if you guys are interested in buying ones, I'm going to be doing Mother's Day ones over the next week there'll be a bunch ready to ship they're not customizable but you know if you want one for your mum I'll be able to ship them to you and they'll get to you before Mother's Day but as I said I'll be taking more orders on Thursday Friday they are customizable so that's super super cool you can choose any design that you want so yeah in today's video if you haven't got it already I'm gonna be showing you how I do my rock step by step but yeah let's just get into the video <laughs> Okay, so let's get started. Oh, that's my hand. So we have two rocks. Um, there's this smaller one, which is a little grubby, but we can clean that up in a minute. And then I've got this bigger one, which has a few imperfections, but none of my rocks are perfect. They're always a bit funny in bits. I also have this piece of sellotape. Just ignore that. It's just so I know where the center of the camera is. So let's get started on the first rock. So I started off by wiping the cruddy bits off of this rock. Not all the rocks need to be wiped down, but this one did because it was a little bit dirty. And then I dried it off with my hairdryer. But literally my biggest tip for painting rocks is grab a hairdryer because I literally dry my rocks between every step apart from like this pencil bit so I'm actually sketching out my little alpacas here we're doing alpacas for the first one this was actually a custom order that one of you guys requested over on my depop and I'm actually rubbing out here because I didn't like where it was centered so I moved it to the left a little bit so I had space for the other alpaca on the other side which was gonna be a little bit smaller but I kind of wanted it to be like two alpacas one a little bit smaller than the other one and they had like different poses and you can't really see them here but this is my little template for me to paint I'm actually gonna be using Posca pens for this one so I don't think I'm gonna be using any paints at all oh what I mean by no paints at all is I mean no acrylic paints but I will be using my Posca pens so I started off by just like putting a base down with my Posca pen just marking out the shape there's little wiggly bits to come in a bit but you'll see that when it comes around I literally swear by Posca pens I think they're so so good especially for precision I'd say the only disadvantage is that they can be kind of transparent but I mean you can expect that with any paint really I then reached for my fine Posca pen to like do the little wiggly bits to make the fur look more fluffy I suppose and I did this all the way around the body and and I left here but then I returned once it was done and then I went back in a second time just to make the paint more opaque because it does tend to be transparent like I said a bit earlier but then once I finished the second coat with the little pen I went back in with my big fat pen and went over the main body and I actually I'm gonna give you my biggest tip right now go in from a different angle <laughs> What I meant to say was use your pen in a different direction to the way you did originally because I find that Posca pens often pick up the paint again if it's not dried thoroughly. So yeah, just watch out for that. But anyway, we moved on to the next alpaca which I used my brown Posca pen for. I literally copied the same steps as before but this pen is a lot more opaque than the white one so I only needed one coat. I then did the wiggly bits again. I didn't film this bit but now we're moving on to do the face. I actually ended up using acrylic paint even though I said I wasn't going to but I mixed this nice yellow with a bit of Posca so this is another tip that I'm gonna give you. This can definitely be more pricey than using actual acrylic, but I find that it dries so much faster and a lot smoother than acrylic. My white acrylic paint is actually getting a bit old and a bit lumpy, so this is something
something that I use quite regularly because it's just so smooth. I did end up doing three layers, but you can see that I'm doing the faces here with a small paintbrush, and then I ended up doing three coats and drying in between. I did say that already, but it's okay. And then I reached for my fine white Posca pen once again and cleaned up any of the little messy edges. And then I reached for my extra fine black Posca pen. This is my saving grace, and I went around the edges. I actually left and then returned with a completed llama on the left side. I actually said llama, but I meant alpaca. And then I added a little tail with the white pen because I forgot to add it. And then I went around the right side alpaca with my Posca pen just to make it all nice and neat. And then I left again and then I show you it here. <laughs> I have no idea what I just said, but it was hilarious. But anyway, I had a tea then. Will brought me a tea. And then I added the little details like the eyes and the nose with my fine Posca pen again. And I actually added some little feet because it just looked cute. So I did that with the Posca pens again. And then I went around them with the black Posca pen. And at this point, we're pretty much complete. But because this is a custom order, I take requests on what message you would like on the back. So this is just me writing the message on the back. This is obviously a little love rock for someone, which is so cute. I actually messed up at the bottom. So I added this little banner, which is something I do quite regularly because it's really difficult to remove black Posca pen. I still haven't worked out how to do that yet, but I will keep you updated. So here's me adding my little signature with a little love heart. And then I reach for my Mod Podge. You can actually get two types of Mod Podge, this like glossy one and a matte one, but I always go for the matte one. It's like the best. I just love its finish. You really don't need very much. I just apply it straight to the rock. And sometimes if I add too much, I just take it away. You just evenly apply this to the front of the rock and then dry it with a hairdryer because it's just quicker. And then I applied it to the back and then here's my rock all done looking cute. I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. It just looks really nice. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. Obviously this is the first one, but just let me know once you've seen the rest. I'm actually just gonna interrupt this video a second just to let you know that I'm doing a really big giveaway over on my Instagram and you guys can enter by following the rules in the description and all the items that you're seeing right now are the things that are included. You can get your own rock painted by me and also a custom one of your choice, which is super, super exciting. All you have to do to enter is head over to my Instagram, make sure you're following my account. I'll put all the details in the description. All you have to do is give the giveaway post a like and comment three friends in the description with the reason why you'd like to win. And finally, make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you wanna be entered and let me know down in the comments below that you've done that because I'd just love to know. Okay, let's get back to the video. So we're gonna move on to the second rock. For this design, we've got three Bs and I'm gonna think, I'm thinking I'm placing them like around and adding a thing, but let's just get started. I'm starting by sketching my design once again and I'm actually gonna be using two different types of paints plus a white Posca pen for this. Oh, and a black Posca pen, I just didn't put that in the clip. So I'm just painting my designs here and I think this is the second coat by this point and then I start using my pencil to sketch out the little stripes on the bees. Once I was happy with my little sketch, I then got my Posca pen and I went around the bees and added the stripes one by one until I was happy. And it was all going great until I smudged one. <laughs> So I didn't actually film this bit, but I actually sanded off the paint with a nail file and then I went and restarted. And again, I didn't film the Posca pen, but I ended up just finishing it off off camera. But then I filled in any little mistakes with the same paint that I used to paint the bees. And then I added little wings with the same black Posca pen. Oh, they're looking so cute. Anyway, we then moved on to like sketch out these little lines that lots of bee illustrations have. And my client didn't actually ask for this, but I kind of wanted to add this. So I hope they like it. But I added this little heart like out of the bee lines I don't really know what they are. But once we finished the design on the front, I flipped it over and did some text on the back. This was again, a customer requested message. And I used the website Font Space, I think it is, for inspiration for my fonts. And then I added my little signature and a heart again. And then we were done until we did the Mod Podge once again. Um, I added too much this time, so I scraped a little bit off. But then I did the back and then I did the front and I used my hairdryer in between to dry them. And then they were done. These are my two rocks. I'm so happy with them. But wait, we've got one more. I decided to do a little extra one for you guys to see how I do like a text based one, a little simple, more reserved design. This one is a Mother's Day one and I'm gonna be selling these over on my Depop leading up to Mother's Day. So if you're looking to get one of these, the link will be in the description. But I basically just sketched out the text again, used a Posca pen to outline it. And then I did a little flower with a pencil and I colored it in with my red Posca pen. And then I used a green Posca pen to do like the stem and the leaves. This is a super simple design. And then once I'd done the stem and the leaves, I used my black Posca pen to outline it again. And then I added like little details like 
pollen in the flower using a yellow Posca pen. And as I said, these are gonna be available on my Depop and the designs could be completely different. Like some will have hearts and some will have flowers. But yeah, this is pretty much it. I then added my signature again with a little red heart. And then to finish it off again, I used the same Mod Podge to just cover the front. And then I hair dried it in between and then I did the back just to make sure my signature was nice and secure. And then here are the three final designs. Let me know which one's your favorite in the description. I honestly don't know. Um, I do really love this one. It's so, so cute. I'm so happy with the design and especially like the different poses that they're doing. It just looks so cute. And then this one I love, especially like the little heart. I think it's just a cute detail. I also love that the, the wings are hollow. I just love that little touch. And then this is a smaller, simpler design, but just super nice to give to your mum on Mother's Day. I especially like the font that I used for mum and the little red flower. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm just gonna get the rocks for you guys to look at with me. So we've got these two, the little bumblebee one and the alpacas and we've also got this other one hang on this bonus one I didn't plan on doing this at the start of the video but then I was like you know what these are the rocks that I'm gonna be selling over like next week that you can order for your mum for Mother's Day if you're interested they're just little simple designs there'll be a variety of them like some will have hearts some will have different flowers some will have slightly different text like mummy on my rock I haven't actually painted these yet but there'll be a bunch going up on my Depop if you guys are interested like I said at the beginning of the video that'll be linked down in the description description below if you want to go and buy one but currently on my depop nothing's listed um, because everything's sold out but if you're interested in buying a custom rock or one of those if they're not listed yet just drop me a message on depop and then i'll try and sort something out for you but yeah here's the rocks um out of these two i think my favorite is the b one i really like how it turned out as i said in my little voiceover this heart they haven't asked for that so i hope that they like it but i tend to just interpret the designs for myself these are both super cute i don't know which one's my favorite Favorite. I like them both so much. <laughs> I don't know which one's my favorite. But as you saw, I messed up on this one so many times and that's like normal. Nothing ever goes smoothly. I usually mess something up along the way. This one took a little longer than a rock would normally take me because I smudged stuff. I'm really happy with how it turned out in the end. It turned out super, super cute. Let me know in the comments down below which one's your favorite. It can be this one too. But this one's a lot simpler. But I think out of the two that I've done today, my favorite's the Mumblebee one. Even though this one's super cute too I just kind of like the extra like little details that I've added like the heart and stuff but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you want to see something like this again where I'm talking about my rocks or whether it's painting more rocks or painting something else like over on my TikTok at the moment I'm painting clothes so if you guys want to see more of that check out my TikTok but I can do something like that over here too where I'm in a bit more detail than it is on TikTok but yeah just let me know down in the comments below I love to hear what you guys want to see because I want to you know do what you guys want to see yeah that's pretty much it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think it ended up being quite a short video this week, but I don't know yet because I haven't edited it. And I say that every week, but it ends up being super long. Ta -da! Ta -da! I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. As I said at the beginning of the video, make sure to check out all my social media. They'll be linked in the description. Make sure to comment which rock was your favorite. And also let me know if you've bought a rock because I love getting to know you guys and it's just super, super nice. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe. We've recently hit 500 followers. Yay! No, subscribers. Yay! Let's see if we can get to 1,000 in like a few weeks. I don't know what debt, like what time, when to blah, blah, blah. That you, um, you had you 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 could you do you you want but we've almost i think we're almost at 600 subscribers now which is just crazy i had a viral video on tiktok and it just blew up and thank you so much to everyone that's come over from tiktok and has subscribed and is now following my journey here but yeah thank you so much if you haven't already make sure to like and subscribe make sure to click that notification bell as well because i love seeing you guys and i'd love to see you again in the future thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all next week bye Bum bum bum